So once you have a, uh, a thesis statement with your three reasons that connect to it, you really have the backbone of your essay. Uh, what, um, what you're going to begin with, of course, is an introductory paragraph. And with the paragraph, if you brainstorm some reasons to, to support, some reasons why people might agree with you, some reasons why people don't agree with you, that lends itself into background. You want at least five points of background. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and, and uh, filled in the uh, rest of the, the intro paragraph. You're going to see we've got at least five points of background that are blue, blue for background. Our original, the beginning part of our thesis statement is in green. That's our main topic of this entire writing assignment. And then we have three reasons that you can see that I have highlighted as yellow. So you've got your three reasons in yellow. What what you're going to do next is make sure that you have your, your overall um, uh, structure. Is you remember in your paragraph you had sort of green, yellow, red, yellow, red, and they all formulate, they all came together to create one paragraph. What you're doing here with your yellow and your reds now is you're going to stretch it out even further. So we can see we've got, in other words, we have your reason number one, the first reason that you had. Then you're going to start to fill it in with detail. And detail is where you stop and explain your reason. And so we, I filled, went ahead and filled this out. We've got reason number one, the first reason to support, that you cite to support your reason. You're going to explain it a little bit. So we have stop and explain, stop and explain. Then you're going to introduce a quote. So you need to have quotes that can support your reasons. Then you're going to spend at least two sentences explaining that quote. Then you want to introduce another quote to support your opinion. And then at least two more quotes or explain at least two more sentences explaining that other quote. Now, once you have uh, this general structure, of this paragraph is going to be the same structure for your next two paragraphs. So you can see right here, this is what we have for the, the first body paragraph, and you, this is the second body paragraph. The only difference is the first one is your first reason, the second one is your second reason, and the third is your third reason to support your opinion. And then with the conclusion, you're, of course, the, the first statement is going to be a, similar, a sentence that similarly states your main, your thesis. And then you're going to connect it. You're going to draw out ideas from the essay. So what are some general ideas that you can take away from this essay? Uh, what are some general lessons or broad thoughts? Can you connect this essay to, to other ideas or other topics that are related? Um, so... That's what you want to want to do for the final conclusion, and you want to. I put four here, but really you should have more than this. What are some general things where you can connect whatever it is your argument is to other areas, or big uh, statements that you can, big conclusions that you can draw from your original thesis and what you have proven. So this is the general structure of what your essay should look like.